Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. Today's video is very important. I want you guys to pay attention and follow along. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the terabyte to source crates in a private lobby. Now, you should know that with the Criminal Enterprises DLC, Rockstar made it capable for us to basically source and sell in private lobbies and that's huge because before you were you know forced to have to be in public lobbies which you could get grieved and even in a mtu lobby or an invite only lobby you could still get grieved but the one thing that rockstar forgot to do or kind of messed up is you're not able to use the terabyte to source crates now you could still go back to your ceo office or you can use your arcade mct terminal right the master control terminal but, you know, using the terabyte was by far the best, most efficient method. And listen, we're not saying that it's an easy way to make money. You know what I mean? Crates are still very tedious and it's a lot of hard work, but it's fun. It's therapeutic. I enjoy it. A lot of money grinders enjoy the crate grind, okay? And when they go double cash money, it's a blast. It's a lot of fun. So to make this work, you do need a couple of things. You need a friend, at least one of the person that's a friend or part of your crew, and you need two separate crews, okay? And you can easily make a crew on Social Club. That shouldn't be a problem, all right? And this is how it's going to work. Make sure you are in your dummy crew or your alternate crew, and you want to load into a private lobby, but it's going to be a particular type of private lobby. All right, what you wanna do is you wanna hit your options button, you wanna go over to online, and once you select that option, you wanna go down to where it says play GTA online, and once you're in that sub menu, you wanna go to where it says crew session. It's the third option down, all right? And you can select two, three, or four different crews, but just leave it to two. Just leave it to two uh, crews, all right? So you're gonna load into this lobby. And once you're in this lobby, it's basically telling the game that this is a public lobby, even though it's just for two crews, all right? So I'm in my alternate, I'm in my fan crew account. And now from here, I can go in and I can invite members from my main crew. You can either do this going through your friends, if, you're, if they're on your friends list, or you can do it going through the options, uh, through your crew options. Go to my crews, go to the primary crew, go to view members, and you can invite them in from that members list, all right? As you see here, Salonius and Matt Harveystead, I'm inviting them in. I invited them from each different, you know, method, one from the friends and one from the crew. And instantly, immediately, those two can start sourcing crates from their terabyte. However, I cannot, all right? I cannot because that little bug or whatever with Rockstar doesn't let me actually source from my terabyte. But because they joined up, it, the game thinks this is a public lobby, right? So those two can join. They're good to go. As you see, I cannot. All I need to do now as the host of this lobby, all I have to do is just leave this lobby. I just need to leave it. I can either join back into my main crew, the old school gamers, or I can just leave it to where I'm in the fan crew, right? It doesn't matter. All I need to do is just leave, and then I'm going to join back off of one of those two. All right, and now I'm not only in a semi-closed crew lobby, right? I am in what the game thinks is a public lobby. So now I can actually source crates from my terabyte. As you see here, I'm going to the friends or you can go to crew either way, it doesn't matter. See, I'm going to the old school gamers viewing my list. I'm now I'm switching over to my friends on my friends list and I'm going to join off of Sal. All right. I'm going to join game. I'm going to load in and now I'm able to source crates from my terabyte. Those two were good to go. They don't need anything but just the initial invite. So I leave. I come back in. I'm going to jump into my terabyte. And as you see right here, I can now source crates freely from my terabyte just like we were able to before. Now, I do think with the winter DLC that we'll be getting from Rockstar that they will fix this bug and we'll be able to just freely source crates uh, from our terabyte in a standard crew lobby, okay, which is what needs to happen. Uh, we, we shouldn't have to do things like this. And I'm making this video not only to bring attention to where all you guys can do this, this will also put it under a stress test to see if it will hold up. And then thirdly, I want to make sure Rockstar sees this so they know that they need to get this fixed so we don't have to do a workaround like this 
and uh, get this knocked out. So we should be able, hopefully they'll fix that and we can use the terabyte in a standard crew invite lobby. But if not, this is a great way to do this. Again, we haven't fully tested it under a stress test to see if, you know, griefers can get into these lobbies. You guys can help us out with that. Let me know in the comments down below and we'll see if this works. And uh, yeah, so it's a great way to kind of, you know, get that knocked out because, you know, Rockstar will make crates double money again. They, they always do at least like twice a year. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. And it's just a great money grind. You know, we all enjoy crates. I love crates. Some people think it's, you know, boring or tedious. I enjoy that, though. It's a therapeutic kind of money grind. It's chill. We have some fun with it. So there you guys have it. Let me know if you got any questions in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illus or Reels content in the game. Smash, I mean, it's supposed to smash that like button. And we'll see you guys in the next one, right? Peace out. Yeah, yeah.